so let's go ahead and add mother spark to our handgun so for that what we're gonna do is first of all open up a browser so you can open whatever browser you want then go ahead and search for the asset store.unity.com or simply unity asset store and then when you are there search for war fx which is created by this developer and as you can see this is a free package on the unity asset store this is the file size which is 9.2 mb so i have already added this to my asset but if you didn't then it will show a button right here that add to your asset or something like that and after you add that it will give you this open in unity button so if we click on open in unity button now it will give you this dialogue and once this appear then just simply click on open unity editor and as you can see this will automatically open up your unity and then the package manager as you can see now it is refreshing the asset so you can say fetching the asset so just wait for it as you can see now the war effects is right here now as you can see i have the import and the re-download button but if you are using this package for the first time it will show the download button right here so just simply download it and once you have downloaded this package then simply click on import it will give this window which is preparing package so now it is prepared and this is all of the effects okay which we will be needing inside our game so what we can do is scroll down a little bit and let's check it fully okay let's click on import and now in a minute it will be imported so as you can see it has been imported and it is giving these two errors which is inside this package as you can see it shows that cannot convert type unity engine dot game object to object so let me double click on it and once you double click on it it will open up that script which contain the error and let's check the line on which this error is which is 138 of this script so let's scroll down to 138 which is right here okay just simply type game object that's it now save this script get back to unity and as you can see the error has been gone now it has an error on 138 of this script so double click okay this is the same script let's find the line which is 183 and it is right here so as you can see we can't see any object and the object is actually on 161 as you can see it takes the object O okay just change this to game object that's it okay I think this is due to the unity versions the unity versions updated so this package is created in the older versions so that's why it gives these errors so if you have these errors as well so just make sure that you solve it as I did okay and now as you can see both of the errors are gone and everything is working perfectly fine now let me close this script and if we check the jmo assets now if we go inside war effects then in here let's check the fire effects okay so if we drag and drop it in here as you can see these are the effects okay there are different effects you can use whatever you want now as i told you in this video we will be adding the muzzle spark so for that i have a different effect which is created basically from this war effects but i have modified that effect okay so i will just give you that effect as well but if you want to use your own effect then you can use your own as well but if you are following me then i will give you this muzzle spark effect okay so just go ahead and download this and after downloading click on extract here and as you can see it will give you this mother spark dot prefab now what we will do if we simply drag and drop this 
inside our wirefx okay right here and now if we click on this okay and drag and drop it in here as you can see this is our muzzle spark okay which we will be adding to our handgun and many different guns okay so this is the muzzle spark and as you can see i have added this inside the jmo asset war effects effects and then file okay you can add this wherever you want for example in the prefabs folder as well if you want okay but i will or simply just leave it right here so we have now the effects right here the next thing which we will be doing is adding the actual mother spark to our handgun so for that first of all let's click on scripts rifles and then let's open up this handgun script and once you open this up minimize the text editor then get inside the player then the armature then inside this hips spine and let's open up the handgun okay so right hand it is inside the right hand for now we will be focusing on this this gun okay so as you can see here is the handgun script attached now open up this gun and inside this gun 04 let's drag and drop the muzzle spark which we have added so jmo asset war effects and then effects then fire and we have the muzzle spark right here so just simply drag and drop this inside the gun 04 and as you can see it is showing the muzzle spark right here on the gun top okay right here okay so if you are using my assets okay then it will be the same as you can see right here okay but if you are using some other war effects okay then make sure that you change the position of your effect to right here in front of the gun bullet hole as you can see okay make sure that you change the position of it for example do the same as i did okay first drag and drop the muzzle spark okay and after drag and dropping the muzzle spark click on prefab unpack completely and then just change the position of your muzzle spark to in front of your gun okay the gun bullet hole so that when we fire it shows the effect in front of the gun okay so that it shows that beautiful effect that yes this gun is firing as you can see okay this will be more beautiful when we will be firing okay for now let's just leave it in the gun 04 right here okay and now as you know we have opened up the script right here at the top let's create a new header so we will say header and let's name this header as rifle effects and inside this rifle effects let's add a reference to our muzzle spark okay so as you can see that right here in the gun 04 this muzzle spark is a particle system so right here we will say public particle system and let's name this as muzzle spark okay so now we have the reference to our muzzle spark now in the shoot function okay so whenever the shoot function is called we will first of all play the muzzle spark so we will say muzzle spark dot play that's it now if we save the script get back to unity okay now if we click on gun 04 as you can see there is the reference so now just drag and drop this muzzle spark from there to here okay from here to right here as you can see so once you do that okay now let's change the name from gun to handgun for example okay so this is the handgun now if we try to shoot on this handgun it will play the beautiful effect okay so let's play the game let me click on the game window let me maximize it and let's play the game now you will notice the beautiful mother's park for now we don't have the 
effects okay for the handgun but we will add that in the future for now let's just test it out on this idle shooting animation okay now as you can see whenever we shoot it plays the mother spark effect really beautifully as you can see for now we don't have the mother spark effect for the other gun because we don't have any script on that gun but we will do that in the upcoming videos so don't worry about that for now just focus up on this first gun now as you can see it plays the effect really smoothly as you can see we can shoot wherever we want we can shoot this middle floor of this pub okay and wherever we want as you can see so now our mother spark is looking really beautiful now in the next video i will show you guys how we can add the impact effects okay for example as you know that now we can give damage to this phone booth okay so in the next video we will try to damage this phone booth and we will add the impact effect so for that i will see you guys in the next one